Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl. In this problem, we're looking to find the center of mass in a one-dimensional system. To find the center of mass, we're going to find the moment about the origin and divide it by the total mass. Well, I have my system here, and these are giving me my different masses with my directed distances from the origin. So I need to find the moment and the total mass. Let's begin with the total mass. The total mass in this problem is simply going to be the sum of these mass values. So I've got 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 9 plus 5. And that's going to give me a total of 20. The next thing to do is to find the moment. To find the moment, we're finding the sum of the products of the mass and the directed distance from the origin. So for each of these points, I'll have the mass times the distance from the origin. So this will be 1 times 6. The second data point gives me 3 times 10. The third data point, 2 times 3. nine times two, and finally, five times four. With a little arithmetic, I'm going to get six plus 30 plus six plus 18 plus 20, which will give me a total of 80. So I can come up here to find my center of mass, and I have 80 divided by 20, and so my center of mass is at 4. Now, what does this mean exactly? Well, it means that if I were to think of this number line as a seesaw, and I put the fulcrum right at 4, right here, my seesaw will balance. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.